Here we have the antiderivative of 5 cosine x dx. And just like with derivatives, you can take out the constant, which makes everything oh so very nice. So here we have 5 times the antiderivative of cosine x dx. And the antiderivative of cosine x dx is the function that when you take the derivative of it gives you cosine. Well, the derivative of sine gives you cosine, so the family of antiderivatives of cosine x are sine x plus c. So the answer here is 5 times sine x plus c. And this is the answer right here, 5 times sine x plus c. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, why don't you multiply the c by 5? Well, it's a good question, because literally this is 5 times the antiderivative of cosine x, which is sine x plus c. And so it does stand to reason that 5 would get distributed to the c. But you have to ask yourself, what is c? c is just a constant. It's any constant. And if you multiply any constant by 5, you still have any constant. And so 5 times c, we just call c. It's still a constant. So this is equal to 5 times sine of x plus some other constant c.